Hey guys, I was just working on the new shelves in the shop that we built yesterday and uh, sorting out some parts and I found this box of Briggs & Stratton ignition coils. So these have been pulled off of uh, parts machines like if I get a lawnmower that's got a rotten deck but the mower, the, the engine, the motor is still good, what I'll do is I'll pull usually the, um, the ignition coil and usually as well the shroud for the recoil assembly, uh, the carburetor, got some carburetors here. These are Tecumseh carburetors, guys, but uh, Briggs and Stratton parts right there. Anyway, I'll yank off a bunch of parts and uh, put them on, on in boxes in here, which you can see is a total disaster, but we're going to be cleaning this up today, so you're going to see a big difference in a little while. I'll make another video about that. Anyway, I found this box of ignition coils that I had hoarded over the last little while and I would like to do sometimes is test them. I'm pretty sure guys that these all work. Um, I probably uh, pull started the engine with a squirt of gas in it to hear it run before I stripped the engine. But I've had these for years and I have this really handy tool. It's called a Model 79 Ignition Analyzer. It's just a fancy fancy word for coil tester and this thing will test uh, ignition coils it'll do the new electronic style like these it'll also do the old school points and condenser style uh, anyway I just wanted to show you how this worked you could pick one of these up probably at a yard sale or off eBay for cheap um, if you have a bunch of coils to test it's a nice way to do it you can always test these guys just by putting them onto a lawnmower engine and spinning it um, you have the spark plug grounded to the to the engine and spin it with a with an impact gun or a, a power drill and you should be able to test the coil but this actually is designed for testing a coil so i've got a coil right here lined up i'm just going to plug this thing in and get the uh lead tip installed on it and i'm going to show you exactly how this works i'll be right back so here she is all set up and ready to test we've got our ignition coil with a grounding lead on it right there You've got your two electromagnetic field generators right there and right there. And then you've got your spark plug lead right there that runs to that connector and it runs it back into the machine to this window where the spark gap is. Um, on the larger four stroke coils, you use the high power mode and on the smaller two stroke coils, you use the normal power mode. Um, so if we have this all together correctly and we hit high power mode, we should see the spark. There you go. You can see it sparking as long as those are close enough. You can see it sparking inside the window. So that tells us that that coil is good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test all these babies. I'm pretty sure that they all work. Like I said, I would have fired the engines before I removed them. But if you ever run a small engine business, guys, it's a great idea to keep a bunch of these things. I mean, you don't need this many, maybe five, maybe 10, 10 per season, depending on how many mowers you work on, because you'll get the odd mower that'll have a bad coil. You'll think it's something to do with the carburetor. No, something to do with the spark plug. No, something to do with uh, flywheel key even. No, and then you change the coil and the machine runs like new. So it's great to have a few of these on hand and it's a great to have a tester like this. So in the winter time when it's frozen outside, you have something to do. Get yourself ready for the oncoming season. All right, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. I'll show off some more of this junk once I get it sorted out. We might do a mini series on how to start up a small engine repair business. I know some people out there looking for a little side hustle and they got lots of small engines and stuff lying around like I do and they want to put their hobby to work for them. I can probably lend some advice of how I got my setup up and running and to actually turn it into a mobile gig, which I'll link some videos to at the end of this one. All right. Thanks for watching.